Inula Hellenium um, Ella Campaign um, has a sunflower like yellow flower that grows to the top. It can grow very tall and it's a it's a biannual so this would be a first year plant. There's no upward stem it just comes out from the root and then the second year plant all of the energy that's been gathered in the root comes up into the second year to produce the seeds and flowers. But unlike uh, some biennials, this one can become a, it'll, the root can continue to split and this will come back from the same root and the roots will get bigger and bigger and bigger. The roots <clears throat> are uh, really aromatic. When you first pull them out of the ground, it's like perfume. It's just beautiful. People really love it. Mm. And when you're cutting up the fresh roots, which is much easier than cutting up the dry roots, so if you're picking it, cut your roots right away. Wash them quickly, cut them up, and then dry them. <clears throat> the roots are full of a sugar of, with the same name as the plant, inulin sugar. And inulin sugar is a prebiotic. So what your, the microbiome of your intestines is thousands of species and millions and trillions of numbers of bacteria colonizing your colon. You, you are colonized. <clears throat> there are more cells there than there are cells in your body because they're so small, so their number can be bigger. The inul so a probiotic is though adding that or some bacterial culture to your diet. So if you eat yogurt, sauerkraut, pickles, anything with um, lactobacillus fermentation in it, you're adding a probiotic. A prebiotic is the inulin sugar which is in the root of the plant which feeds that bacteria. So of the friendly uh, bacillus living in you, inula feeds them. So if you have an overgrowth, say like of yeast, uh, inula will will help set the bacterial colony larger so that it, it, it controls itself. <clears throat> when bacteria eat the food that goes through you, they produce for us vitamins and, and digestive compounds which we can now eat. We can't get certain things out of our food, but they can. So the, the bacteria eats everything, but like every ever living being, it poops. Hmm. Where does it poop? In poops in your gut. So you've got, you know, 10 pounds of bacteria eating food all the time, pooping all the time. Well, what do you think the poop is? Well, sometimes it's vitamins, vitamin K. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's amino acids. So you can absorb that. That's great. So you're absorbing bacterial poop and it makes you healthy. Great. But sometimes Saccharomyces and some of the sugar loving yeasts, their poop is, is, a, is an amino acid that acts like a neuropeptide. When it gets into your bloodstream, your brain receives that as a message, I'm hungry for sugar. That is how clever the bacteria is. It's telling you to eat sugar to feed it. So people who crave sugar, it's, it's a closed loop. People who get too much yeast crave sugar, eat sugar, and the yeast builds up and they, they just can't get out of it until they, they re, they're overgrown with it. So to help get a person yeast level down in their body, you have to eradicate the sugars from their diet. And you know the way to get rid of sweet is with bitters. So we use bitter things. <clears throat> Back to elecampane. Inula um, also has other compounds in its root. And it, it is one of the only plants that um, can kill both bacterial and viral pneumonia in the lungs. So if you notice, we're down here just a, just a little bit above the, the, the water, but by the location of this willow, we know we're in a wetland, right? Yeah. So <laughs> whenever you're, whenever you're in a, if you, when we come around this corner here, you'll see a whole band of willows. You know you're in a wetland because willows like wet feet. They don't grow in other places. Mm -hmm. They like to grow in wetlands. Mm -hmm. So does elecampane. And it, it helps you to remember when your lungs are too wet, yes. that's when you grow 
uh, the bacteria or that's the environment that the virus can multiply in and give you uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia always comes in a wet lung condition. People in nursing homes uh, often die of pneumonia, you know, not old age, not heart attacks, because they're, they're too stationary. And when the SARS outbreak came, that was just a specialized pneumonia, really. It wasn't as scary as they want you to think. More people died of pneumonia in the city of Toronto than died of SARS uh, at the same time, but the number, maybe three to four times more. But they didn't publish that in the papers. It's not the way Stats Canada re reveals to you how our medical system works. It also helps you, <clears throat> it's an expectorant, it's a stimulating expectorant. So if you drink this for a wet, a wet lung, boggy lung condition, it'll help, uh, <coughs> it'll help you cough that phlegm up. So this is really good in a cough syrup for infections and wet lung conditions like pneumonia. Okay, the root of the second year. You don't pick the root of the first year. All the energy of the root is in the gathering stage. Here the, the root, it's, it's putting up the plant. <clears throat> and then when this dies down the, in the fall, all the, all the power goes back into the root. So you and look for one with a stalk? At, in the fall. In the fall. In the fall when these are dry. And the first year plants are basil leaves? Is that the basil leaves, that's all you'll see. And it seeds itself quite prolifically. They blow off from the flower.